the Joker is back. I love the Joker. This the Joker is my favorite villain. The Joker is probably the most iconic villain of all time. I think Darth Vader is pretty close, but I think he's far away at the same time just because of how iconic the Joker is and what he has done. Um, I love the Joker. He's probably my favorite villain of all time. As a matter of fact, I have a poster of him. Okay, so yesterday they showed the photo of the new Joker, which is played by Jared Leto. I really like the picture. Okay, so when I think of the Joker, I think of insanity, psychotic, somebody that understands that the world is a joke, so that's why he does what he does. When I saw this picture of Jared Leto as a Joker, I thought, my God, we have him. We have him. I'm calling it right now. This guy may be the best Joker on screen that we will ever see. Not just for right now, but that we will ever see. I know that there's a lot of mixed reviews out there about how the Joker looks, but this Joker is very iconic. It's based off the picture that's in The Killing Joke that was made by Alan Moore. And I must say, this Joker, he may really be close to this one. I know a lot of people don't like the tattoos and think they kind of went overboard. I really like the tattoos. I think it just shows how insane the guy is. It's a new look that has to be very different from Heath Ledger's Joker and Jack Nicholson's Joker. It just has to be. I think Jack Nicholson's Joker was very funny, but he was still dark. I think Heath Ledger's Joker was very dark, but it's kind of funny. I think this one's just, it's just dark and just dark only. If you know anything about the Killing Joke Joker, you know that he made Batgirl paralyzed and made her become the Oracle. That's how insane this guy is, okay? This picture shows how insane the Joker is. I don't care what nobody says, this picture shows that. I don't like the damage tattoo on his forehead. I kind of, I think that kind of takes away from the whole mystery of the Joker and why, why he does what he does. So I didn't like that. Um, the grill that's in his mouth, I didn't mind the grill. I'm assuming that he had a few fights with Batman. So Batman broke his teeth, so he needs a grill. I'm sure he's gonna take the grill off during the movie. You're gonna see his teeth and understand why he wears the grill. So I'm not really worried about that. I like the ha-ha tattoos on his shoulder. Um, I'm sure he's caught up in a moment. I don't know why he'll be able to tattoo of ha-ha or tattoos in general, really, because I don't think he'll be caught up in a moment like that. But I enjoy the take. It has to be different. Now, what makes the Joker scary is not how he looks. It's the way he's written and what he says and the character development behind him. That's what makes the Joker. And this is Jared Leto, for goodness sake. The guy that played a transsexual in Dallas Buyers Club and won an Oscar for it. He can do this role, I'm telling you. The green hair is like the Joker with the purple glove too. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm actually curious to see how they're gonna do Harley Quinn now since those two were a tandem. I wonder if she's gonna have tattoos and all this stuff. I'm assuming that the Joker won't be shirtless during the whole movie. A lot of people are saying that he'll have this white suit that he had in the Dark Knight Returns comic book. That joke was really dark, probably one of the darkest of all time. I think if you go shirtless during the whole movie, I think it shows the Joker as a physical threat since he does have superhuman strength somewhat. You know, the skinny guy can fight Batman hands on. So, hey, we'll see where it goes. So, did you see the Joker picture? Well, you have now. Um, let me know what you think, comment below, subscribe, share. Thank you for joining the quest. Have a good one.